Stevens County woman Lori Price went missing earlier this week. Friends say she was picking huckleberries in Summit Valley with her partner when she disappeared. Well, after five days on a mountain, she was found with the help of hundreds in the community. Crime 2's Shana Waltower brings us more on the people behind this rescue. Shana? Yeah, thanks, Dana Marie. About 250 people to be a bit more exact, and that's just the ones who were on the ground looking. There were others setting up a Facebook page, collecting donations, doing so much more, all to help find a woman many of them had never met. It all started around 5 a.m. on Monday. Lori Price and a friend went huckleberry picking on Huckleberry Mountain. They talk back and forth and, and he says he's going to go and dump his bucket. And when he comes back, she's gone. So he looks for her for a long time. And then he comes down the mountain to get help. And this is what sparked the community-wide effort to find Lori Price. Police say she suffers from dementia, which would make the search even more difficult. But word spread quickly, and in just a couple of hours, neighbors were showing up to help. Went up to the top of the mountain the first day, and there was tons of people. I can't even begin to count how many people there were. There were people everywhere. We looked and looked and looked and looked. There was hundreds of us up there. They were working alongside the Stevens County Sheriff's Office. But by Wednesday, there was still no sign of Lori. We had maps, um, walkie-talkies, uh, tree ribboning tape. It was just... It was looking grim, definitely, on day five. Until Friday afternoon, when one neighbor, Steve Gibson, decided to trek up the side of the mountain. As he looks up, he sees somebody squatting down picking berries. He calls out and he says, Lori, and she replies to him. And back near the bottom of the mountain, Lori's son came running to share the good news. It was just like the greatest relief that... Anyone had heard that whole day. It was five days Lori spent on a mountain, but all the time she was not alone. It's over and she's alive and well and how amazing, you know, just. It was incredible to see just the amount of compassion and drive that everyone had that wanted to find Lori. I'm still just in shock about it because it's, it's really incredible to witness that. Now, police say they did find Price with some minor dehydration, but she was taken to a hospital and as well now. Now, many are saying they're just using this as a time to take a lesson to make sure that nothing like this happens again. They're using maps, they're making grids, just scoping out the area just to make sure that they know the area well in case, again, anyone goes missing in this area. Reporting in studio, I'm Shana Waltower, Crime 2 News.